Today, you will see that PM631 is currently wearing a red nose cone on her propellers. This has been taken from PS915. We have some Squadron at Turnhaus, 309 Polish Squadron at Dren, where it receives on shipping protection patrols off the east coast of Scotland. 26 Squadron, which is being made for Arctic East.
guys, the crowd rises right, so it's coated with the it was realised that the serial number KG661 had, in fact, previously been allocated to another Dakota which had crashed and was subsequently written off. The error was reported and in July 1979 the Dakota was allocated the modern serial number Zulu Alpha 947, which explains why the serial number worn by the BBMS Dakota does not match the age or the era of the aircraft. suffered the highest loss ratio of any recorded combat. In all, 55,573 men and women were killed in bomber command. Our flight's aim is to commemorate those 120,000 men and women who have given their lives in the service of the Today, our flight has six Spitfires, two Hurricanes, a Dakota and a Lancaster. Two chipmunks used for training. World War II. The long term preservation of these priceless pieces by national heritage is planned on a long term basis with the aim of keeping the aircraft flying forever. Here we see the Dakota coming through with what the crews call a dirty pass. This is undercarriage down on the Dakota. wave as they come through they have a great view from the cockpit today they will be able to see you from the ground and the insults will be working hard to get this formation as tight as they possibly can as they come past the crowd line today Thank 
noise you'll hear throughout the display is the operated Garrett TPE turboprop engine, which is fitted to the RX Tucano by Shorts in Belfast. This particular engine boasts more power than the original Tucano design. If you look out to the left-hand side now, you'll see Liam returning towards crowd centre, where he's about to roll the aircraft through 720 degrees in the five-point roll. Graduating from the Tucano course will go on to fly the new Hawk T2 that is also based at RF Valley in North Wales. Liam has now positioned the aircraft to fly a high G turn where he's going to pull 4.5 G. That's four and a half times the force of gravity as he flies around the sky. As Liam now pulls hard on the stick, he's feeling that four and a half G, pushing him into the seat with the force of nearly half a ton. Opposite to his outside turning performed earlier, the blood is now rushing towards Liam's feet, and he's having to tense his legs and his stomach muscles hard to keep that blood up in his head where he needs it to fly the aeroplane. This hygiene turn is another example of maneuvers taught to all students of basic fast jet flying training, allowing students to appreciate how to fly an aircraft to its maximum performance. Twenty miles an hour. 2019 is the final year of Tacoma operations and this will be our final evening show. So ladies and gentlemen, a big show of appreciation and a large round of applause for the 2019 Royal Air Force Tacoma display. <laughs>
365 days a year. I to the left as Jim comes in for his fast pass. As he broke away there again, he would have pulled 9G, but thankfully to his life-saving, life-supporting equipment, his anti-G suit, Get your cameras at the ready as he switches on the reheat for a slow and dirty one. footage all on our social media pages on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook.
rain cars a bit cold, wasn't it? Not now. It's not on it now, but there. Oh yeah, I saw that. Fireworks going off. Oh, they're on the edge. Oh yeah.
this off? Star Wars. No. <laughs> we just had that on. <laughs> it's a super map. Smile of eggs, it's weird.
Grand finale here. Yeah. You're right up. Ah, oh, I thought we were going to be go. Over there. Oh, yeah. 